All right. What's up, everybody? Today, I am on with my rock star coaching client, Anthony Smith. Man, this guy has been killing it inside the coaching program. And uh, I've started these, you know, success interviews with our members because I know there's other people just like myself. I was inspired to start joining different coaching programs uh, and just feeling like I could do more because I saw how other people were able to, you know, crush it while, you know, they were going through different adversities and challenges to be able to, you know, accomplish their goals. And so uh, I want to always bring you guys some new people uh, who I see crushing it, uh, not just in fitness, but also with their family, because uh, I know a lot of times uh, when family, when, when we have a family, it can take up a lot of our time, you know, and uh, when you have guys like Anthony, who's still out here making himself a priority, making his health and his fitness a priority, Man, I just want to say I salute you. I admire you. I'm proud of you. And um, how you feeling, brother? I feel good, man. I, I I feel pretty good, man. Appreciate that, though. That that's good to hear. Absolutely, man. I see you. So, with that said, uh, I'm thinking the first place to start is uh the backstory. You know, a lot of people, you know, they they see all the all the uh the the highlight reels. Oh man, he dropped X amount of weight. We ain't gonna share that just yet. But <laughs> but but we hear we don't all always hear about the adversity, the challenges that you had to overcome to get to this point. So talk talk to me about how life was before uh we got the type of results we've gotten so far. Uh mainly man, just starting out. I mean, grew up in the south, so grew up in that with that southern eating and you know, whatever they put on your plate, you got to eat all of it, no matter what it is. Um, but I was always, I was a slim kid growing up, so I was always able to maintain weight because I was involved in sports. I was always doing something. Mm -hmm. um, got a little older, things started to slow down. Still had those same eating habits, but not the same activity. Mm -hmm. So started putting on the weight, putting on the weight. Went through those first while, you know, I could drop a little bit here and there, but I couldn't maintain it consistently. Mm -hmm. uh, couldn't really get the nutrition side part, not the nutrition side down. Um, I, I was always good with working out just from my upbringing. I've always been active doing things like that, but just couldn't get that nutrition right. Mm -hmm. But that was one of the main things that helped me reach out to you was to try to help shore that up and get that, you know, that structure to all of it. So, yeah. you know, definitely once that took place, started to see the changes I was looking for. Got it. Yeah. So I tend to see that a lot of times, man. Guys, um, they, they feel like, Oh well, man, if I just get my workouts on point, I'll be able to lose this stomach. Man, if I just get my workouts right, I'll be able to, you know, get all cut up. But it, it sounds like you are aware that the nutrition was a challenge for you. Uh, what what made you come to that realization that you were like, yeah, something ain't right about this nutrition? I mean, really, because I look at the work I was putting in, I was, you know, I'm lifting solid weight, you know, consistently. I was in the gym, you know, three, four days a week, sometimes twice a day but mm -hmm. still wasn't seeing anything. But I know mm -hmm. that morning I had ate like two donuts on the way to work. Mm -hmm. um, then I had like the leftover fried chicken for lunch from the day before. So mm -hmm. I just knew like, okay, that's what's killing me is that I'm not eating right. That's the main thing. I got to get that right. Once I get that right, then let's see how that goes. So that, right. was, that was the thing for me. Mm, that makes a lot of sense too. Yeah, eating them donuts early in the morning. I, I always make I this- like a police officer, man. Donuts, coffee. There you go. <laughs> I was just about to say it. Donuts and coffee. When you look at the police officers on these movies and TV shows, they got that big old ass stomach. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> but um, so once you realized that, did you like try any type of diets before you reached out to me, or did you like go straight to me? What was, what was that like? I did. I tried to do my own thing for a while, and then I would see results here and there, but I wasn't able to maintain them. And so then I think it came more so about I wasn't eating enough. I wasn't getting the right amount of protein, right amount of fast carbs, things like that. Mm -hmm. So that's when I said, okay, let me talk to somebody that knows what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And that's like, I, I have been following your content for a while yeah. and start watching your videos and things like that. I'm going to reach out to a man and let's see what we can get done. Yeah. I, I think you even mentioned, uh, I think Kevin Tariq, did you, I think, do you know Kevin Tariq? Mm-mm. Oh, I don't know why. It might, yeah, it might have been another guy, but uh, I thought you had mentioned him because uh, y'all have a very similar story too. you know, both family guys. And he had reached out to me because he had been trying for a while and uh, he ended up shredding like 30 pounds, went up in, went up from belly fat to having a six pack. But um, what, what, what specific type of diets did you try um, 
you know, during that period of different testing out different things. I mean, I tried to go the keto route. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, like the the low carb, the mm -hmm. 1200 calorie a day thing. And just with the amount of activity I was doing, like it just wasn't getting. Mm -hmm. So I, I was burned out, tired, you know, with, especially when I was doing the no carb, like I had no energy to do nothing. It's like, I would be able to get up and work out. But once I got off of work, I crashed out every day. Yeah. So just feeling burnt out weekends. I just want to lay in the bed. Just energy just wasn't there. Mm, yeah sounds about right because that's how i was when i tried them <laughs> so i feel you on that so let, let's take a transition uh what what made you say all right man let me go i've been following this guy jay jackson on social media he talking about big old ass stomach this lose that and eat this but don't eat that like what made you make that decision to go ahead and uh 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 reach out and join because mainly your your method is more realistic mm. than some of the others that I've seen. Not knocking any other coaches or things like that because, I mean, they, they're successful for a reason. Mm -hmm. But with yours, like, I could understand what you were talking about when you were breaking down proteins, carbs, um, different, you know, the workouts and things like that. I can understand you ain't in your videos cutting back flips and everything else you know it's it's like workouts i can go to the gym and do myself now and get where i need to be mm -hmm. and um especially the food part breaking that down like your body type your goal you need x my calories x my protein fats things like that mm -hmm. so it was just easier and then like to, to track all of it you know i'm into my fitness pal seeing the breakdown of everything and like what i'm taking in though like, it's kind of made me change my decisions on what i should be eating mm -hmm. like if i know i got x amount of calories i need to I got left in the day and I still need to hit this protein amount. I might not need to eat this. I need to eat something else. Right. So, so just like watching your content, the way you break things down, like I could understand it. You know, it's, it's a normal man can understand what you're saying as opposed to some of the stuff I see where it's just, it's too confusing. And just, it just makes you want to give up. Mm, yeah. That's a good point. I didn't think about it that way. Yeah. That makes sense. So it makes a lot of sense. Um, so when, when you made the decision to join, um, let's talk about results now because everybody been waiting on the results. Well, okay, well, you know, he had these challenges. I hear that. And, you know, he did this and he did that. And so uh, talk to me about what type of results you got that you've gotten so far inside the coaching program. Well, you know what? Let's say the first three months inside the coaching program because that's like the the uh, flagship where people, most people start. Uh, what type of progress did you see within the first three months? First three months, um, <laughs> I want to say I dropped 30 pounds mm -hmm. uh, first three months, somewhere up in there. Um, I mean, first week I dropped four, you know, just yeah. the, the first week. And, you know, I'm, I'm just getting out there, you know. So that was a big eye open for me. But, yeah, the first three months, I mean, I noticed my energy got a lot better. Mm -hmm. I was able to get through my workouts, you know, a little more. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, the workouts are challenging. They're supposed to be. But I was able to actually – finish workouts I'm not as winded and things like that so that first three months man that's what kind of motivated me to keep going just seeing those results knowing I've been doing every all this other stuff for years right and what I wanted during those years I got it almost in those three months yeah man that's that's major that's a big point right there because it's people out here been trying to drop 20 pounds for years and they can't drop it and you drop 30 in three months and so that's easy but you know Follow the game plan. That's it, man. Got to run the play. Yes, um, sir. and I'm I'm proud of you, man. Like real talk. I want to give you flowers. But um, one one of my big things I also want to know though is what in what other areas of your life has dropping this thirty pounds? Because we hear about dropping X amount of weight, but like how how else has your life been positively impacted, uh, from dropping that thirty pounds? Um. Mainly, man, you know, I, I got a nine-year-old daughter, so she's active, like, she's gymnastics, cheerleading, like, everything. So mm -hmm. just being able to get out there and run around with her and things like that, having that energy when she's like, Daddy, I want to go outside. Normally, I'd be like, All right, let me lay down for a minute. Right, you know, right. it's like, no, nah, let's go. You know, and time, she's telling me, like, okay, let's go in the house now. Like, I'm tired. <laughs> so, you know, just, just being able to get out there and run with her. Yeah. Um, and really, just my energy throughout the day, man, like, I normally start my mornings about 4 o'clock in the morning, but like, I'm not winning. I'm going to nine, 10 o'clock at night and wow. I'm, I'm good. You know, I'm not yawning. Yeah. Like I need a nap, nap halfway through the day. You know, my nutrition is right. So I got the energy to sustain me all that time. So 
Mm-hmm. It's been a huge change. That's awesome, man. And, and and then I know you got you got a wifey, you know, and a lot of guys who tend to join my coaching program, they either they got a girlfriend or they married or they want to be. Uh has has life been how has that impacted your life? Like being in a relationship and dropping the weight and uh having that type of energy now. Yeah, I mean it's it's been it's been used for her, of course. I mean, she definitely appreciates it. Um <laughs> But yeah, just uh, even just re- really just around the house, you know, I can take a lot of pressure off her, you know, trying to get things done as far as like just helping out around the house and things like that. So that, yeah. that's been huge. And, um, you know, she, my, my wife ain't the type where she'll obviously say stuff, but you can get what she means, you know, right. just by her actions and things like that. But I'd be hearing her, you know, on the phone here and that's like, yeah, he done lost this, he done lost his weight. <laughs> he in a size this now. I got I to gotta buy him new clothes and things like that. So right. I'll be hearing her. That's awesome, man. I love that. And <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, and, and I feel like every man deserves to have that. You know, because I, I see so many men who, you know, you take care of your family, you take care of your responsibilities, which is important. I admire that. And uh a lot of guys tend to, to neglect themselves, but you you're like, you're not just a dad. Not I, you know, some people would say it's corny, but it's like, oh, you're a super dad, like straight up. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of men, they it ain't easy to go out there and take care of the family, get get to the bag to, and also get healthy, get fit, and look the part. You know what I'm saying? It can be a lot, but uh, the fact that you went out and done it, man, that that speaks volume to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm thinking like the next the next place I want to go though is like. What what has your experience been like inside of the coaching program? Like, what are some some things that really resonated with you that you found helpful inside of the coaching program? Um, what well, are the biggest things? Is just the community um, that we kind of formed in, within the coaching app, like helping each other. Like, you know, I'm struggling with this, or I got this going on. What do you all suggest? Um, even like from the meal plans and things like that, seeing what everybody's eating. Um, somebody may post a meal like, no, don't eat that. Use this instead of that. So yeah. just having that support overall and then having you there as well, you know, as the coach, you're not kind of just leaving us hanging out there, throwing us in the room and like, okay, y'all figure it out. Right. But you're out there, you're posting what you're doing and things like that. And you even talk about changes that you've made to certain things. Mm-hmm. So I think it's just the transparency of it all, the camaraderie, that's been a, a huge help. Mm, that's really good to know, man. Cause that like as I continue to grow the community and you know, I just dropped a question in there, I think two days ago, about you know, something new that uh, I'm getting ready to start doing inside the community with you know dropping the recipes and stuff. Uh yeah, that's gonna be major, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, we you, you know we're gonna love that. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. And so with that said, um, you know, a lot of guys, they've probably been just like yourself. You know, they've probably been watching watching me for uh, a few days, few weeks, months, if not years. And uh, they're probably on the fence, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of stuff out here when it comes to losing weight and getting in shape on social media and YouTube. And so uh, for the guys that may be on the fence right now and they're like thinking about pulling that trigger, like what would you say to those guys? Uh, as far as like uh, taking that step to go ahead and making it happen, I say like don't wait. Invest in yourself, number one, because really, it's your life. You know, you you control what happens in your life. You control like if you're gonna live a healthy life, you're gonna live an unhealthy life. So make that decision for you. And really, if you don't make it for you, make it for those around you, because you never know who you're motivating, like who's watching. Because people are always looking at what you're doing, especially in the area of social media now. People are always watching whether they're saying something to you or not. They're seeing how you move, and that may make them move in a direction that they weren't thinking about. So do it for you. Do it for the people watching you, the people around you. And also, you want to live a longer, healthy life. So, like, it just makes no sense to do anything different. Ooh, man, I love that, man. Yeah, absolutely. I couldn't agree more, you know. And, and, and like, just to piggyback on that, like, when you th- – this is what I look at. You hear about the whole high-value man thing, and – now, I believe a high value man is a man who understands he has to pour into himself to be able to pour into other people, you know, and based on what you just said, it's like other people are watching, you know, and and just by you pouring into yourself, that's leading by example. And so your kids, you, you, your daughter see it, you know what I'm saying? Your wife see it. You know, other family members, people at the gym who who feel like, you you know, you went to the NBA, <laughs> 
<laughs> they, <laughs> they so they inspired too. <laughs> yeah. And so um that's why I look at it as value because you're impacting other people just by your your mere existence and your image alone. It, it inspires people to do more, you know. And so uh I appreciate you for hopping on with me. Uh and I hope that this inspires and motivates, you know, at least one person out there to go out Absolutely. and uh uh make a change in their life because just know uh just like anthony was going through some adversities and challenges before he joined you know a, a lot of us we all go through adversities but obviously anthony he's a prime example of you know when you put in the work you you invest in yourself and it's not just for you but it's also for the people who depending on you and care about you life can change in a very short period of time and so uh anthony uh I appreciate you jumping on with me. And uh, do you have any anything else you want to say before we hop off? Um, just lastly, just like for everybody else, I'm I'll just be honest with you. Like, it's gonna be people that's gonna tell you, like, you different, you changed, and you're not the same person. And you probably aren't. You're just trying to be a better version of you. So don't let that hinder you or nothing like that, man. You gotta live for you. Yeah. Ooh, that's major, man. <laughs> that I'm like, that's gonna be a topic right there because <laughs> <laughs> to be able to get to a new level, we have to become a different version of ourselves. We can't stay the same person. And so, um, yeah, totally agree with you on that one, man. But uh, appreciate you jumping on, brother. And uh, hey, man, let's keep crushing it, baby. Absolutely. I right, know. All right.